Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe? I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of... stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy, I just... What do you want to know? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Uh, you're welcome. Always happy to help. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city, hidden deep underground. Its existence is... Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, 
I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. Whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, and that godforsaken doorway into the past mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <laughs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the Empire are you from, exactly? Hey, not so loud. Just saying that name could land you in trouble here. If you haven't heard, his cultists burned down half of Rome last year. Horrible business. I heard Nero executed some of them, but a lot of people are still angry with them. Even down here. So, if you're one of them, keep it to yourself. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... You seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. 
Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the Magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be Magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today, drinks at my bar for free tonight. Ugh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's... uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage and wheat, Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the Forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Hilarious. You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the Golden Roll. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten. Made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden roll is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I trust... What now? I'm a legionary of the first Italica. But there's not a... I act... I'm... He's one of the better All right.
fear is proof of a degenerate mind. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? A curious name to match a curious accent. I see you have the piercing and astute eye. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you. A secret city built deep. Indeed. More important, 22 complete strangers brought together by the... F and in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. Nor could I, until I... But the reason for this, this... If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning that from what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid. And now it seems that all that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the Golden Rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes, or to some other... It, of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire, and we must honor the peace of the gods. The sacred accord between the gods and the... It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper. I'm glad you agree. The key things to remember are that we have laws forbidding treason and blasphemy, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and us. I have made my pronouncement. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on that. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to preserve. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. Two thousand years? That I Please, tell me, in your time, what did you... I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it's still... All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I, I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means in... In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. Ah, ah. I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try... Well, I suppose that's all.
Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, if you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? Well, I believe you're in the best position as f the... Ah, good. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city. Talk to everyone. Help them, if it'll win that. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents. Unless, of course, you're asked to figure out who the culprit is. And as soon as you have a name, Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. See On your best behavior, I trust? Oh, look, you're back. I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in. What are you doing in here? Really? Now, remind... Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Sentia. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together. We went into our rooms. I went to sleep. And when I woke... I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping... Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment. That doesn't surprise me. To him, it, he's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared, and all I know is, whoever he is, you really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased. If you must know, I'm here because my father has forbidden me from leaving the villa. I... So you'll help me? Oh, then you should probably... Thank you.
Your best behavior, I trust. What have you discovered? What? Really? I swear, I searched her room top to bottom and never saw that. But it's odd. It was only a few months ago that Centilla's friend Yulia let slip she was planning an. You should go and speak with her. Find out if she knows anything. She lives in the villa next door. Mind me, I just live here. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Are they? Citizen. What now? I'm a legionary of the first Italica. But there's not a lot. I act as the magistrate's right hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. I also keep a register of. I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But to bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. I don't see why not. Just make... Of course. Well, as I always say, it's kind of like it by threatening to execute one in ten men. The idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes it... It's brutal, of course. But effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without... What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms and... Those memories will always visit me in my sleep. As with the Golden Rule, I don't have any control over it. As Seneca the Younger wrote, true happiness is to enjoy the... but to rest satisfied. A war crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero's... Not that it's any of your business, but unfortunately, I don't think my... See, the mad Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that slaves at the helm. But... I appreciate the... In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a... What business is that of yours? A lot of people have been looking for her. 
Scintilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. If anyone knows something, you might fare better, though, I suppose. Fine. I'm a legionary of the First Italica. I act as the man. I also... All right. any new of course what is it hmm. are you sure it looks like you'll have to continue your invent thank you Two talking about. Don't play dumb. I saw you. Haven't if he's making a last ditch effort to pick up votes by talking to a woman. He's even more senile than I thought. Everyone knows women. Couldn't stay away, huh? The name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus? You go through me. Too bad. He's busy. Unless... Nah. I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man, and this is an important day. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. Dunno. Something... Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a... a ch just make it good. When Maliola... I think it's gone on long enough, and Maliolus is gonna put an end to it once he's... He's gonna announce it in his victory speech. Just... Cause if I tell you, and it gets out, it'll give old man Sentius a chance to... We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a... Maliolus, of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect it... She's not here. Had to... Listen, I don't abduct women. They come to me, and they keep coming back, if you know what I mean. You don't know Sturka. Yeah? What have you got for me? If you set one... Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh. What a so, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a cop? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And now, so I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. A creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. What any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral.
Don't you just love springtime? Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? You're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. And uh, I hope I'm not being too for. There's a light in your. Ugh, oh, coming on a bit strong, don't. I take back what I said. Let's just forget that ever happened so we can at least do business. Ugh, oh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. I guess that went right as a match. I'm happy to tell you. So, how badly do you want it? it well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you. Simple. It's a one-way trip. And I'm not ready to go just yet. I think of it this way. I have something of value. If I took your money without giving you... Well... I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As... Certainly. How embarrassing for you. All right, see. 